guys, I'm Alona from Businka Mania and today we are going to see you bikini panties. For this project I will use elastic lace, but you also can use a mesh fabric, which is a spandex mesh fabric, and also you can make these panties seamless in the back. You see, there is no seam here. For this you just need to remove this seam allowance here and use this place as a fold. As I told you before, I'm gonna show you the sewing process by using elastic lace. If you have a similar pattern, you can use yours, but if you don't, I'll attach the link with it in the description box below. And here's my fabric I'll use. I will need two elements of the back on my lace fabric. I will need one gusset like this, the same on the lace fabric. I will need one gusset on the lining fabric and I will need one element like this of my front on the mesh fabric. I will fold my lace face to face this way. Make sure that scallops are matching each other. Then place the pattern on the scallops edge, exactly this way. Do exactly the same with the gusset, place this on the scallops edge. Outline all elements and after cut it off. We have two elements of the back, we have one gusset on the lining fabric, one gusset on the lace fabric with scallops here, and we have one front element. I will start to work with my back elements. You see, they are face to face to each other. I will sew them here. I use my overlocker, but you can use your regular sewing machine. I finished to sew and now I want to block this seam. For this, I just need to push it on one of the side and sew here by using elastic stitch. Now, you see, this seam is not moving anymore. This is the ready back, and as I told you before, you need to make sure that all your scallops are matching each other, they kind of in the mirror effect. Next, you need to grab the gusset with the lace. And you see, here's our face, and here's our face. We need to place these elements face to face to each other, exactly this way. Then grab the gusset with the lining fabric. And you see, face up, place this element under the back of the panties. Pin everything together, exactly the same way like I'm doing here. Then grab the front element, open this place exactly this way and place these two elements face to face to each other. You see, face here and face to face, yeah. Pin as well everything together. After go to your overlocker or sewing machine and sew in this place, and here you need to sew as well, in this place. As I told you before, you can use your regular sewing machine if you don't have an overlocker, because later I'm gonna show you how to hide all these seams. I will place my lace gusset this way and pin this. It will help to hide all seams inside. On my next step, I'll show you how to attach the fold-over elastic here. It's very simple to do, you just need to grab your fabric, place this in the middle of the elastic, fold the elastic this way and sew here up to these places, on the both sides. After I will sew the elastic on top of the front element and will do exactly the same on top of the back element. 
but it's a little bit different way how to do this. You will need to keep two three centimeters of the empty space to attach after our rings. So place the elastic not this way, just keep a little bit of the free space. Something like that, I'll say two three centimeters max. And fold the elastic and sew it as you did before, keeping this space empty. So you need to keep the empty space here and here. When you start to sew, you don't stretch the fabric, you stretch a little bit only the elastic. This is the one of the most important rule when you sew on the elastic, because it will prevent any waves in the future, and when you finish your result, your panties will look very nice. When you come to the end, block the thread. Then cut the elastic as much closer to the thread as you can on one side. And after do the same on the other side. Exactly this way. Next, grab the lighter and burn this place a little bit to eliminate this fluffiness. I assume the elastic on the sides and now I need to cut off the leftover on one side and do exactly the same on the other side. As I told you before, when you're going to attach the elastic on top, keep some free space of it. So basically, I place this and I start to sew it without any fabric, around 2-3 cm. Then I'll grab my fabric and place this and do exactly the same. Basically, it's the same process like you sew on the sides, but you do the same on top. And you see this free space? Later in this video, I'm going to show you how to attach the rings there. Should look this way now do exactly the same with the back also while i'm on the sewing machine i'm gonna sew this lace here because it will prevent this from moving and also you don't want to have some kind of pocket open pocket there so i'll advise you to follow me here and do exactly the same So you see our lace is attached. Now you will need to have rings. Mine is 10 millimeters. You will need to have two of them. Place this ring here, place elastic inside of the ring here and pin this with the needle. Now grab the back element and place the elastic in the same ring. In this as well. Do exactly the same on the opposite side. You see, you should have the same on the both sides, exactly this way. When you start your sewing, make sure that there is no any metal object under your needle, because you don't want to break this or have some accident. So you need to sew up to the end. After, you need to press the reverse button and sew it back. Next important step is to do a cleanup. You see this leftover of the elastic? You just need to grab your scissor, cut this off, and burn a little bit with the lighter, just to eliminate this fluffiness or some leftover of the threads. On my next step, I would like to add some cheeky details like a ribbon bow. And on how to make it, in order to complete the set with this beautiful halter bralette, join me on this video here.